Welcome back everyone. It's Jake Lorraine, highresponsemarketing.com. This is the High Response Marketing Show. Good to see you. This is a good episode because I, what I did was I looked at what I'm spending per month on different things to run the online part, essentially the online part of the business. But also, I guess there's a lot that I use on here for uh, regular day-to-day -day local marketing stuff too. Many of these services I started out with monthly or quarterly plans and if I liked them, I ended up switching to the annual because it saves some money. I know not everyone has the cash to do that or whatever, so I've just broken it down into monthly amounts. Number one is Dropbox. I use Dropbox so much. I mean, like I could not function without it. Between me and my assistants, we're always sharing things. It's so easy to move files around. I also use it with a lot of clients. I have a lot of real estate clients in particular, and these teams and whatnot, they'll put... I'll have them put like every time a new rep comes in, a new salesperson or whatever, agent, I'll have them put their headshots and stuff in there and then I can just make the turnover the business cards really quick. It's just an easy way to share things between each other. I use Dropbox so much. Could not live without it. I spend $25 a month on Dropbox. HP Instant Ink, I love that plan. This is for like home printer. I got one in the office, one at home. It's the HP Envy series and I spend uh, $19 a month on whatever plan and they just send you ink so you don't have to go buy the cartridges and stuff. This is for printing just like your generic photos, recipes, letterhead stuff maybe you want to shoot out or something. And I'm on like the upper plans. I think they start at like maybe three or four dollars a month if you're not doing a ton of printing. For uh, EDDM facing slips, I should throw this in. I use my, I for like stuff that I'm printing a lot of, I use Brother Laser Jets. Those things are workhorses. I have three or four of them. I think I have four of them. And they just buy the toner on Amazon really, really cheap. For website hosting, I use Liquid Web. I love Liquid Web. I wish I knew about them a long time ago. For ages, I used the company called Stablehost. And I really liked them, but then I kind of outgrew them. The site started to get slow and the support really tanked, even though it was really cheap. I was under some like old, old ass grandfather plan or whatever. But then I got tricked by, I put out like, I post on Facebook like, four years ago or five years ago or something. One dude, I don't know why I listened to him. I switched to this thing called Host Wins and they sucked. I almost sued them. It was a, it was horrific. It was, the, it was the worst experience ever. And I ended up going with, I think I narrowed it down to like Cloudways. A lot of people said Cloudways and Liquid Web. And I, I'm just, Liquid Web's the best. And I have two sites. So I have my regular highresponsemarketing.com site, but I also have a partner of mine site a couple of years ago, I had insane traffic because we had like a celebrity, like a national celebrity, and it was it was getting a, a ridiculous amount of traffic every single day. Like it was in, intense. Liquid Web held it down, and they got twenty four seven support. Liquid Web's awesome. And three hundred dollars a month on that because it's, I got to be able to handle the the load or whatever the server load. I don't know. Focus at will. I heard about this from Frank Kern in like two thousand fourteen, and I've been I've been using it since. I spend. $4 a month on Focus at Will, yearly plan. You put the headphones on if you want to get something done, and you pick these channels, and it's got the specially selected like background music that you can pick from. I use the up-tempo channel, but they have things for like ADHD people and stuff. I'm so productive when I use Focus at Will. Love it. Focusatwill.com. Aweber, that's for uh, email. So I, use, I, I used Drip for a while because I was mad at Aweber and I wanted bigger delivery rates or something. And Drip was, Drip was awesome and it was, it was more modern and stuff and it was, it was easier to use and set automations. And then all of a sudden the delivery just tanked. It just, it just tanked. I couldn't get anything delivered. So I went back to Aweber and they've been so good to me at since. And they made a lot of improvements. I really love Aweber. I'm a loyal, I am the type of person that will stick through things a bit and, and, and just, I won't just jump ship really quick. I'm pretty loyal and I can't, my Aweber delivery rates are very, very high. I spend $200 a month. Sometimes it's $280. For some reason, they, they'll, they'll, they'll charge me $280 like every other month or something. I'm not sure how that works, but I spend $200. I think the plans probably start out at like $30 a month or something. It all depends on how many, use, how many people you have subscribed to your list. I also try to cull off a lot of dead weight. If people aren't opening the emails, I get rid of them. So I'm not spending a lot of money for users that don't open the emails. Trello, excellent. I used to use Evernote. That was so clunky and got so old timey. I went with Trello five years ago or something. I've been using it ever since. I spent $20 a month because I have two users, me and my assistant. And it's just Trello's awesome. It's got these boards. You can organize things and move them as they progress. It helps keep me on track. It helps keep my products and ideas and content. Saves it from being lost and, and allows me to get things done 
a lot faster than I would be able to just using yellow notepads like I used to. Uh, Gusto.com is how I process all my payroll. I can't speak highly enough of Gusto.com. If you are ever going to hire employees or hire yourself, if you're going to incorporate and bring yourself on as an employee, which is great because then you can have the taxes taken out and stuff and you don't have to get socked with them big tax bills and avoid the self-employment tax. It, it, there's no other better solution. A local accountant isn't going to be as good. Uh, paychecks, ADP, any of those things, not as good. Gusto.com, cheapest. Run payrolls as much as you want. They take care of everything. I spend $91.56 a month right now because we have six employees. And you spend like, maybe it's like $8 an employee. It used to be five, but I think it's like eight bucks an employee plus a service charge. Really not bad. Less than 100 bucks to run six employees and run payrolls. All you want is, is a fantastic price. I love running payroll with Gusto. I've never been able to say that with any, with paychecks or whatever I was on before. Media Fire. This is one that I could probably probably get rid of and replace with Dropbox, but I've been using it so long, it's really not that expensive. It's $4.50 a month. I pay it annually. I think it's 40 bucks a year or something. Mediafire.com. You store files in Mediafire and you can, you can link to them really easy. I use it for a lot of products, especially some older products I have. They're all set up with Mediafire links. You can give someone a link and they have this thing called hot linking. That's why I pay for it, by the way. Uh, you can just click the link and it just downloads. You don't have to like go through Windows. Okay, it just it just downloads. So I like that. I could probably ditch me to fire, but I I got a lot of content on there, so I just spend the four fifty a month. Shopify. I run a pretty busy Shopify store. It's an e e-commerce thing. I spend two hundred fifty dollars a month. It's like two hundred forty something a month. Actually, honestly, I think it's two eighty. I think I messed up there. It's like two eighty, and that's just because I'm on the bigger plan that allows you cheaper rates and I have a lot of apps on it. Apps in Shopify are things like it. It will add something to someone's cart if it, you're running a promotion or suggest things. And like, there's just all, the, the apps add up. People are like, oh, you got to go to WooCommerce or something. I'm like, Listen, I'm happy with Shopify. I'm not learning some new freaking software because you thought it was cool. QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online, I spend $65 a month because I have two. One is like $40 a month, my main corporation, and then I have a, another one. $25 a month. So it's like 65 bucks a month I spend for to do my bookkeeping. And you may say, oh, well, Jake, why are you doing your bookkeeping? You should hire a bookkeeper or something. Look, I have an accountant. She handles all this, the, does the major stuff. But I think it's important. You're in business. You should learn how to do your own books and enter your own things and stuff and know the financial health of your company. Be able to look something up and not rely on someone. God forbid they leave and they screw things up. They steal from you or you can't get an answer. Learn the basics of bookkeeping. Learn how to you know, pull a financial report. You need to pull a P&L or a balance sheet or look up how much you paid someone or how much you paid over time or what your year-to-date figures are or quarters and stuff. You should, be, you should know how to do that. If you, 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 I don't really think you can call yourself a business person and not have some general knowledge of your financials. There's a lot of marketers out there that have no clue how to do their own books, man. You'd be spending too much on these CPAs to do your stupid bookkeepings or whatever. And QuickBooks Online is great because you can sync everything. I have like my freaking uh, Capital One business credit card synced to it. I got all the checking accounts. We got payroll account, checking account. Um, all that stuff is synced in. It's tied. So when I go and I buy pens from Staples, it just pops up and it says Staples and I got it to categorize as office supplies and I just, I review it and click it. It's really not that difficult. I run a ton of transactions gazillion transactions a month between PayPal and just business, a million transactions. Makes it easy. Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. I use Photoshop, um, InDesign, Illustrator, and I used to use Premiere, but I don't add it in Premiere anymore. I just ditched that. I use DaVinci Resolve. I love it. But I do have to have two subscriptions, one for me, one for my assistant. So that runs me fifty, me fifty two ninety nine a month. Ugh. And hers is $24.99 because she's on a student plan, but I pay for it. But as an essential of doing business, um, Blueberry, which is a podcast hosting service, I use that for my podcast. That's 20 bucks a month. Digital Access Pass, that's my membership software. That's on my site how I get you courses and protect things from people from people stealing them and only give access to the right people or take away access. That's why I like, I like taking stuff away. Davina, who's the, the creator, and she, she continues to code this thing and make improvements. And she really, she, for like 10 years, like I'm, I'm loyal. I think if I switched over to whatever these other things are, Kartra or something, 
I run into the same issues. Nothing's perfect. Malware bites. Uh, I use that. That's uh, seven dollars a month. That protects the computer from malware or whatever. Uh, Word fence. Fifteen seventy five a month. I had to protect against like I had a crazy hacking story. I should tell you that on a separate video. That was insane. I lost a lot of money on that. That's how I ended up with WordFence. I didn't have any solid protection. WordFence or Security, they're the main ones. WordFence, I, I think, was cheaper, so I, I've been with WordFence for a while. LearnDash, that's what I use to give you the course, to organize the course, the video courses. They have beautiful interfaces. Beautiful interfaces. I really love LearnDash. That's $16 a month. I spend on that yearly. I think it's $200. Wistia, believe it or not, you got to pay just to have videos freaking embedded, like just to put a video up. So I use Wistia. That's kind of the, the best solution. It's got a lot of functionalities I don't use, but it, I don't know. I could probably, that's one of the ones I could probably get by dropping. Not sure. I spend $21 a month on a yearly plan. I think it's 200 something dollars a year. I run out, the problem is I run out of bandwidth. When I start producing a lot of content, I start putting like these video courses out. I crazy like go through the bandwidth. And then they sock me with these bills of $500, $700 because I go over the bandwidth. I'm like, oh, man, you mother... And uh, I, 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 the last course I did, I put up on unlisted YouTube videos, and that kind of worked out, so that didn't cost me anything. I might go with that or v Vimeo. I don't know. I'm probably getting, I'm probably getting, getting, getting harassed by him. That's how I use that word. Mile IQ, that's an app I use, $5 a month. You go driving, it automatically sends that there was a drive. It'll say, what was this drive for? And you just go through and you uh, you categorize it. That's how you get the mileage deductions, which is, is, is really important. You got to have good... I remember, I remember a long time ago, I used the paper. I had these books and books. And I, got, I did got actually asked one time, um, not by the IRS, but by the state. New York State, somebody thing and said, well, you're claiming a lot of miles. You better tell us where you went. And I had the book. Now I just use the app. We're almost done. Epidemic Sound. I've subscribed to that. It's like 15 bucks a month. That's where I get my music from. So I put it into YouTube videos and stuff. Epidemic Sound has a huge library of music. Uh, Theme Co. 1 is one that I could probably drop, but I, can't, I stay on it. You know, I love, I absolutely love my WordPress builder. The builder I use for WordPress is Theme Co.'s Pro Theme, and I love it. It is rock solid. It is just, it's futuristic. You can build anything you want. You're not limited, You, which does give it a pretty steep learning curve. But if you can imagine what you want, you can make it in this. And that's what I like. You can modify anything. You can modify the headers independently. Theme Co's, which is a single price license. I know it's like a hundred bucks or something one time, but I pay $50 a month for their support. It sounds a little ridiculous, but their support has gotten me at, like when I'm trying to, something goes bad, it's something I can't get something to line up right. I just, I shoot them an email or they have like a little chat system and they're, they're right back to me. They will fix it ASAP. They'll give me the code. They'll put the code in if I need it. Fantastic. They also do, it's also, they do like all WordPress. Like it's like any tech support. So if you have an issue with WordPress or something in general, they will, they will be right on it and it's worth it to me. Last one is pay kickstart. Paykickstart.com. I've God, I wish I didn't have to pay this, but I do. I spend two hundred dollars a month. It's one hundred ninety nine dollars a month just to process payments. So when you buy like a course from me or stuff, I I put the buttons and it puts like the it, the delivery and everything. I spend two hundred dollars a month, but that's how much it costs. If you want to have like affiliates, if you want to have all the features and stuff, it's two hundred dollars a month. If you put things up on things like JVZoo and Warrior Plus, I'm talking about like pro like product courses. You have to spend, they'll charge you like 5%. So you spend the percentage that PayPal will take plus Warrior Plus or JVZ will also take a percentage. I think it's like 5% off everything. So they get their cut. But something like Pay Kickstart, they don't take a cut. You just pay them monthly and, they, and it saves you. In the long run, it saves you a ton of money. As your business gets bigger, you have to do a lot of things where maybe you're spending money, but it's saving you money in another place. Those are all my monthly expenses for online stuff. I don't know, is there anything you think I'm spending too much on or could get away without? I, I, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with everything. And the total, the grand total is uh, $1,477, really not that bad. I know if you're just starting out, it's like, oh my God, it could, but this is online marketing. It's a whole, you know, they go sell freaking local marketing services. You really don't, these things aren't really necessary. You take payments over PayPal, square up. It's like you're, you're, 
You don't need all these little stupid things. You like my camera set up here? You like this? Also got standing desk. It gives me a little more room to maneuver. All right, that's it. I'm going to see you again, okay?